Hey YouTube, this is Itchy and I wanted to share some more um, mutations that I found today with you. Um, this is the technical term for what's happening to our plants. It's called fasciation and if you just Google uh, fasciation images you can see uh, numerous examples of this. This is a black-eyed Susan. Here's thickness of a stem. Here it is in a Cigarro cactus. This is a normal cactus. This is one that's faciated. Here's a lily, and you can see the thickness of the stem and the abundance of blooms. Here's a dandelion. And this is a side image. This is a better image. They refer to this as coxcomb, like the thing that's on the top of a rooster's head. Here's a portion of the video that I made last weekend. These were mutated dandelions that I found on Belle Isle in the Detroit River. That's right on the border of Windsor, Ontario, and Detroit. You can see the thickness of the stems. Some of them have two, three, four, five, and six heads. And after I posted this video, I received uh, numerous responses. These were the dandelions that I found today. Here's uh, normal examples of one after it's lost its seeds. It's supposed to be round and small. These were the ones that I found. My cat was very curious about them too. And there you can see the elongation of the seed base. Those stems are actually about as thick as my index finger. These are quite a bit larger than the ones I found last weekend. It's very concerning with it being this early in the season that uh, I'm seeing as much of this as I am. These are from Rochester Hills, Michigan, outside of Ramshorn. Since I posted the video last weekend, I have received other images uploaded to uh, my site Mutation Watch or Radchick Radiation Research and Mitigation on Facebook. I've had um, images uploaded from British Columbia, Alberta, Washington State, Oregon, California, Maine, Northern Germany of um, mutations in dandelions also and I've been saying for a few months that we were going to see this especially in things that grow fast and uptake a lot of water um, because they grow fast there's rapid cell division and things that have rapid cell division are going to show the effects of radiation more There's the normal one on the right. It's my understanding that these seeds will also propagate more mutated dandelions. Again, normal and not normal. If you photograph anything like this, please send it to my email with your name, the date, the object was found, and your location and I will be forwarding these to researchers if you include your name you will receive proper credit and I stopped by uh, my daughter's house to show her and this was a strawberry that she had and a box that she just brought, bought from Myers. I also have a page on Facebook called Mutation Watch you can 
upload the images there or send them to my email christinax4 at yahoo.com and I'll put a link to that in the description box. I'm also going to enclose some links from any news. This is uh, posted today, Japan Times, on plant mutations. Some trees died and others grew in abnormal shapes. What I've been seeing in my area for almost a year now is that the pine trees are um, showing a lot of redness in some of their outer branches. It's not insect activity because insects will leave tracks or little tubes on the bark of the tree if there's an infestation. This is happening because of cesium uptake. Um, pine trees seem to be most profoundly affected by this and some plants actually uh, do much better. They grow larger, they have more blooms. Um, if you have any fruits or vegetables though that look like they have uh, been contaminated because they're showing a mutation like the strawberry example that I just showed you obviously don't eat it. The approach has been to let the ecosystem work. Fungi is much more effective than millions of people at containing contamination. Another thing that you may notice in your area is an abundance of mushrooms especially dark brown or black. Um, the real concern is of course if this starts happening to babies because uh, fetuses are a thousand times more susceptible to the effects of radiation and they have rapid cell division. And there is another article that was posted on Any News a few days ago that I'm going to show you real quick. There's something also called a witch's broom effect where um, the bottom of the plant fans out with the thickness of the stems and a Japanese TV show aired photos of mutated plants in Tokyo they were asking the audience to send in more examples and they just happened to be dandelions like the ones that we are finding all over in the US, Canada and Europe. So I am sending uh, the pictures that I took from today and from last week plus the images that were sent to me to this station and I'll keep you guys posted. Um, all this does is validates or verifies the fact that we need to be mitigating, the fact that we need to become more creative in how we uh, grow our produce outside and there are definitely steps that need to be taken to minimize the uptake in plants um, all over this country and our farmers and people that deal with our food chain need to get on top of this problem right now. So um, if you know anybody who is in the farming industry please send them this video and um, ask them to contact me and I will forward them some information. Thanks guys. Stay safe.